first question to you, Greg Berhalter, the head coach of the U.S. men's national team is, does your job as U.S. men's national team coach depend on the success of Copa America this summer? Lexi, I just flew from Chicago, a <laughs> four-hour flight, and that's the first question I get. This man. is how we roll here, oh Mr. Berhalter. Oh, my God. I'm not even ready for that. Come on. I think that, um, you know, for us to achieve our goals and what we want to do, the Copa America is very important. We, got, we have to do two things. We have to learn how to beat the best in the world, and we have to learn how to thrive and knock out competition. And Copa America is going to be big for that. Regarding myself um, and, and the job, you know, one thing I've learned with the national team job is that it's one of one. You're always under pressure. You're always accountable for results. And I think that, um, you know, this is part of it. This is, I, I'm learning to live with the pressure. You know, I don't think there's any pressure that the outside can put on us or me personally that I don't put on myself. So we're very focused on achieving our goals and doing well at Copa America. But having been given a second bite at, uh, at the apple, if you will, uh, and, a, and a second having cycle. Having been giving? Having been yeah. given. Yeah. Right. A second bite at the apple, Right. You can at least acknowledge that you are under, I guess, more scrutiny and more pressure, and that this summer being probably the biggest tournament situation, not probably, it's going to be the biggest tournament situation before 2026, the pressure that comes with that. And if it does not go well, that's going to be a poor reflection, not just on you and we on the team, but relative to your job. I think that, um, you know, the, the most important thing is that the, con the team continues to develop. That's the most important thing. And it's it's hard to really pinpoint an exact game or an exact tournament to say the team's not developing. I think that's that's very difficult to do. And um, like I said, our job is to develop this team that when we get to 2026, we can really make this country proud. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.